Hello, I'm Mixed Miles and Man, and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unbounding my Luba 5000 and resetting up, remapping it with exclusion zones and the perimeter area of my lawn. When I first um, got this machine, I did struggle originally with the apps, um, and what I found I was doing, I was downloading the latest app from the App Store on the Android setup. But however, what you need to do is I was using the link they sent me in the end from uh, Luba, and that worked absolutely fine. The only other issue I've been having is when you do do a software update, sometimes it comes up with poor positioning. And all I did was just um, automatic piled down my Luba from its docking station and then sent it back again. Once it found it, found the docking station again, uh, the, the positioning came back in and all was good. So in this video, I'm gonna be putting my, um, my phone on share screen. I'll put it up in the top right hand corner there and you'll better see what I'm doing and how to set it up and what have you. Hopefully that process will be easier for you uh, rather than some of the instructions um, that you get with the actual mower itself. So I'm trying to make it a bit of an easier step-by-step -step guide on how to map out and set up your exclusion zones. I don't need to set any pathways up because I don't have any, anything other than just my back lawn, I don't have a front lawn. So no pathways will be in this video, but the exclusion zones and how to map it out will be. If this is your first time you're watching Mixed Muzzle Mower Man, hit the old subscribe button, not whack the old bell, set notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I'll upload another video. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's get this little bit set up, mapped with exclusion zones, and get it cutting. Okay, so the first thing you're going to be seeing on the, on the screen would be um, add a device, and then you just hit the, hit the start button. Is the front bumper connected? Yes it is. Uh, is a security key in the back? Yes it is. Is the charging station all set up as it should be? Yes it is. Is the RTK um, all set up as it is? Yes, it is. Um, and we're using method one, um, which would be where Luba will be actually uh, inside the mow zone. A Bluetooth connection. So now just hit, um, make sure your Bluetooth is turned on, obviously, and then look for the, um, the Bluetooth name coming up on, on the Luba. You must be within five meters of this. So it's just searching for a connection. Now, Luba has successfully been added, so finish that. And away you go. So turning it onto the side. Okay, so now Luba is now in the docking station behind me and I've got the map uh, here, which you guys are hopefully seeing in the top corner here. So the first thing we'll do is it says down the bottom here, create and modify. We're gonna create one. Please leave the docking station before. So just on the left-hand side, you've got this up and down button just here and it says automatic pile down. If I hit the automatic pile down button, Luba will just come out, out of the docking station just like so. And out he comes. And they come out about 1.5 meters. So now we want to create and modify, hit that, and we want to add a task area. Once we've added a task area, you just have to click a few buttons. It says here, um, within, the high, uh, within the highlighted area is where Luba will work. I understand that. And now you'll see on the screen, Luba, is, it looks like he's quite away from the actual uh, docking station, but it's not. In, in, in real terms, this is actually quite close. So all you want to do now is just using... Um, the up and down buttons, um, as highlighted, uh, you just use it a bit like a games console, okay? And all you're going to do for best results is you stand behind the Luba and then you, um, you just drive Luba around the outside perimeter. And what you'll see is, you'll see it'll actually start to join the lines up. So I'm going to turn Luba around. I want Luba to be starting in the best place possible. And now you can adjust the speed. If you go into the settings, um, there's a speed control here, okay, and you, and you can slide that up or down wherever you want it. So I've on about 0.5, okay, just just to slow it down whilst you're mapping. I'll turn the loop around slightly, and you want to be a little way away from the sides for man, for, for manoeuvring. And then all you want to do, sorry about the wind, but it has got really windy here. I might put my mic inside my jumper in a minute. You just want to start to move Luba around all the areas of where you want it to work. And of course, you want it without a cocker spaniel chasing it if possible. So I'm gonna go right up inside the hot, by the hot tub. I'll stop it there. And I'm gonna come back. And you're seeing on the screen is it's, it's now starting to draw a white line, uh, a red line, sorry, uh, of where Luba is actually working. Now I'm gonna turn it round and go forward a bit. Out of the way, dog, girl. And what you want to be doing is you want to be looking at a lot, sort of an overlap of, of, of your cutting area. So when you're actually using Luba, uh, you want to make sure that Luba is actually going to be cutting uh, as close as you possibly can get it, but without actually hitting anything. So I've gone slightly over, and I want to turn it round 
and then just follow the line. Other way, dog. Now I'm leaving just a little tiny bit of maneuverability there because I don't want Luba to be hitting the hot tub uh, later on. That's too much. I'm going to come away again. I'm going to get quite tight if I can get it. And all we're doing is just mapping down the area. I'm going to be moving my tripod quite a bit because I want you guys to see what actually it is I'm seeing. Now this trampoline, as much as I love it, uh, it tends to move when the kids are on it, so it's always it's normally in out the way a bit, so it will go back a touch. So now, just going to maneuver Maluba around this section just here. And as you can see by the by the controls on the top corner here, I'm coming quite tight to this. I'm just going to overlap it, just one wheel on the concrete. Now's the time to take your time. That rhymes. Because you want Luba to get all the edges. So when I cut the grass, these, cl these closed props are not normally in the way either. They're normally out of the way. Just gonna move this out of the way. Right about there. Now sometimes you might lose um, your connection, okay? In which case, if it does that, you just literally want to just sit and wait until the satellites come back. I'll pull forward a bit. As I say, I'm just literally taking my time with this. I've been driving it around for a, little, for a couple of weeks now, so I'm quite used to it. There's Luba going down through there now. So we're going to go down to, the, to this section down through here. I want it quite tight to this verge because there are some little tiny chippings under here. So it's quite a good space there, actually, in, in, all, in all fairness. So we're just controlling Luba, just with the, the controls on the phone, just like so. So there's your left and right button, and here is your up and down button, okay? So it's quite simple. So just maneuver your Luba in all the areas you want it to work. Now, if you hit something, don't panic. You can always just, just reverse it back a bit, okay? So I want Luba to go down to about here and stop and then we transverse round. Now what I generally do with this, with this section, because I, I do a lot of mower repairs, and I do you know sort of YouTube channels on how to repair your lawnmowers, bits and pieces. So my lawn at the moment, this back end, is absolutely full of old broken lawnmowers, but it will be tied up eventually, we'll be using the whole lot. So now we've got it here, I now want to bring the luba all the way across, in a straight line pretty much. Now this is where I was losing the connection behind this magnolia tree that I'm currently behind. I'm going to bring the just a bit tighter. And don't worry about making wavy actions because the, the RTK will, will, will figure that out, okay? So off Luba goes. And Luba will now go up to uh, the top, top corner of the garden. Just going to reposition you guys so you can see what's going on because otherwise there's no point just watching me, is there? Because that would be a silly video, right? We'll bring Luba around, bring you around. And we're going to bring Luba further around up to, oh wait dog, oh see, see how it hits something there? So we don't want that, so I'm just going to come back. So Luba is now um, going to reverse up, it's a bit too tight there, and come out a bit. I was watching my dog, that's what I was doing. Up to the top corner, the dog absolutely hates this lawnmower, round. No, there was that something actually in the garden just there. Let me just have a look. See if it is. I think someone's uh, dropped something in the garden, which is uh, not the best thing. I don't know what it is. So I come around this side here because I was having problems with this magnolia tree mapping with my RTK unit up above that ladder just there, you see. So it lost the satellite signal. So now I'm going to move Luba up to about there. We're going to come across and just come as tight as we can to this sort of area. Just take your time with it. That's the easiest thing. Move right across this a little tiny bit there, Mick. Lovely. Come right across. Gets to there. And I'm going to swivel Luba, Luba around. And come as tight to this sort of 
um, growth as we can because come out of touch mick so all i'm doing is just using the control on the phone it's really quite a straightforward process to use now the difference in speed that, that, that's as fast as i can go now but i can also change the, uh, the, the speed of Luba by hitting the settings button and then speeding it up right here. See with this, this slider sliding, you can speed it all the way up and the difference that makes is, is, is night and day. Okay, you can go really, really fast. But like I say, you don't want to be doing that when you're setting your Luba up because you want to make sure you get, you get the right perimeter. Once you've got the right perimeter set up, you can then set your speed a bit, a bit later on. So I'm just going to put that setting back down again to about 0.5. That's manageable. Now you did see then maybe on the phone it said position locked and that's because of this tree here is blocking my RTK unit, okay? But I managed to get through it and if you hit the POS up the top right hand corner it'll tell you I've got 32 satellites linked at the moment out of 24 so that, that's pretty good and my positioning is fine. So you need to have 20 odd satellites, okay? And away dog. Come around to here and just going to do a little tiny sweep around here. And it comes nice and tidy. A bit more. Oh, don't want to hit nothing there. Come out of touch. And then I do a 360 there. And I want to stand behind the Luba if I can, because that's where it's a, a better place to be, as I say. Let me spin my tripod around. I'm going to get myself a new tripod by the looks of it. This tripod's at it. It's all a bit screw whiffed. And then we can then run Luba up the garden. I so say walking behind it is easier because you, you're just following it. But you do find you tend to do a bit of waviness as you go. But don't, as I say, don't worry about that because the RTK unit will figure all that out. So you can go up to the top corner, send it on up. I'm just going to move that table out of the way because I want that table to be to be uh, not there when I cut my lawn. <coughs> I have to move move the old tripod quite a bit just to get you guys into into the best sort of angles. But you can see what I'm trying to achieve. So let me just uh, move that table a touch because I want the luba to be actually to get right into this corner. So right up into the corner, and I get Luba to do a 360 there, about there, do a, do a 360. And then I like to have one wheel on the, on the concrete so it gets the edge. About there. And then come down, and we do another 360 there, or, or turn it around, 90 degree angle and then follow this pathway down through here. Now don't forget, it has got the, the sensors on it, so if it does hit something whilst, you, whilst you, it's in, in the mowing, then it will, figure, it will go around it, so it's not the end of the world. And now we're gonna, just gonna run Luba all the way down to the far corner. And once Luba gets to that corner, we do another little 360 there, just about there, be lovely. Or 90 degree angle, sorry. Right round, and loop and then go around that way. And do another one there. And you can see on the map, we're starting now to join up um, the exclusion zones we want. Of the, the, the actual map. Now in the bottom um, corner now, there's a little tiny tick right down the bottom. That'll go green when you've successfully mapped it. I'll go about there, would be nice. And I want to turn it round. Now, any second now, Luba will say thank you. There you go, that's gone green. And then it says planning complete. Click the button, the tick, to save your planning results. So we're going to hit that green button. End of task or continue planning. We want to continue planning. Now, in fact, if you just got a lawn where you've got no obstructions at all, a really, really nice square lawn or circle lawn, whatever it is you've got, if you've got a really, really nice lawn and you've got no need to do anything else, then you can just move on from here, okay? However, I've got a few exclusion zones in my garden, one being that magnolia tree, 
and two being the drain cover down the bottom there, I want to now set up some exclusion zones. Okay, so I'm going to hit the button that says um, continue planning, okay, because I, I, I haven't as of yet finished. So um, continue planning, I'll go to work. So continue planning. And now it says modify task. So I want to create modify and I now want to add an exclusion zone. But what I want to do first off is you have to move Luba into the working zone. And this is where people get tripped up. You can't set up a no-go zone if Luba is on the outside, okay? So I'm going to add to task, understand, and now I'm going to physically drive Luba over to a magnolia tree, okay? So I'm going to speed Luba up for this, so setting on the speed and all the way up to top speed, and then I'm going to shoot Luba down to the magnolia tree down here. So there goes my Luba, flat out across the old lawn. We're going to set it up just there, put it into position. I'm going to go back one to confirm that. Right, so now we've got, so now we've got the, the, out, the outside of the map sorted out, okay? That's now in blue. We now want to set up an exclusion zone uh, going around this, around this magnolia tree, okay? So we'll tap the map and then hit the crate modify. Let me just get Luba into, into position first. I'm exactly where I want Luba to be. That's going to be about there. And we want to crate modify and set up. A, you can now see, you can, you know, you've now got the add channel and the no um, go zone is now highlighted. So now you can now hit the, the no go channel. As I say, you cannot do that unless Luba is actually inside the perimeter, okay? So put Luba into a perimeter, then you can then set it up. So hit the understand button, and now avoid hitting fences, as it says here. And all we've got to do now is just drive the Luba around this exclusion zone. So, so, I've got, so I want Luba on the slow speed again, down to about 0.5, and then slowly, slowly, slowly. This is all your edges, right? So this is where the detail is. I now want to drive my Luba around the edges. All the way around. And the slower you go, the better. So I'm staying this side of a magnolia tree because I don't want to lose my positioning on my RTK. Around he comes. And again, if you look down the bottom, there's, there's that little tiny, little tiny tick. Once you've set up the exclusion zone, that'll go green. So you can see it's starting to draw the map. And once it gets to the, uh, the end point of that map, it'll, it'll understand that it can't, it can't cut that area. But just do it slowly but slowly. We get in there. We're nearly there, Luby. And it'll go green in a second, and it'll say, yeah, that's lovely. And it'll understand where you are. There you go, that's gone green. And now we can hit the OK button and tick the, uh, tick the um, thing. But now, let's say you've got another tree, or you've got, you got a, a patio set, or whatever it is you've got. I've got a little tiny drain cover just right down here. So I now want to move my Luba down to an X. So you want to hit the um, continue planning. Okay, but what I want to do before I, before I hit the modify is that I want to drive my Luba down to um, the, ne the next site. Oh, off he goes. Oh, oh, oh. Somewhere down there. Let's follow Luba down. Oh, I'll make Tom. So, now we're down at the, at, at the next exclusion zone site. which is this little tiny drain cover just here, okay? So get your Luba into position first. That's the first thing you want to do. Have it where you want it. Let me back it up. I'm coming from, from this angle here. So I'm going to slow it down in a minute because it's going too fast for me to control. And I want to have it so that it is roughly about there. So I'm going to hit the settings button and slow Luba down to 0.5 again. And now I'm ready to, to, uh, to modify the task again. So we're going to go in and a task modify and add another exclusion zone. Yes, I understand. 
and now it's ready. So now I'm just going to slowly, slowly drive the louver around this section here. Now I want to be really careful, making sure that I get all the bits I want. Because the last thing I'll do is hit, is, is hit the deck with uh, with this um, drain cover. It's quite it's quite a hefty hefty drain cover. And it will just start to map out this little tiny drain cover. This is the advantage of the RTK. It's accurate down, down to millimetres and it will start to draw a little tiny line right around this drain cover. Now you wait for that, 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 green, that tick to go green again. There you go, it's gone green. So it's got it. So hit the green. Now, now I say we're pretty much ready. But what you need to do is to remember, you can't set this thing to work now because it is technically in an exclusion zone, okay? So what you might have to do is then hit the go to work button. It may not like it, let's see. If I hit the mo button, you can then set your, um, your height for cut down the bottom there. It says height for cut, I want the lowest it can go on. It's just trying to just program. I sat right under this tree, it's probably not helping matters. Let's set the height of the cut right way down to about 30. And then we can now hit start. So you can see on the map, um, it's got the exclusion zone all set up. It's got the magnolia tree number one and the drain cover number two. And we've got the RT and we've got the docking station over the far side. So let's now hit the start button. Pip, come in, bud. Pip. Let's get the dog out of the way. Let's hit the start button. And now what happened with Luba is it should start to beep. It's just thinking about it. And what will happen is, it'll start to do its own thing. So it's gone beep, 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 like that. Now the deck's now started up, and now it will now consider the best place to go um, to start off with. So off it goes into its own little world. This is such a cool. This is such a cool device. It really, it really is cool. I'm not just saying that because I've been giving it for nothing. I'm, I'm telling you, this is this is quite a cool device. For, for once you get used to the, the controls, like anything, you just have to you know be, be sort of um, sensible with it. But hopefully this video will help you out. And now, Luba will will go off on, on, onto onto the map and it will figure out the best way, the best thing to do. Okay, it's just like it's going to cut from left to right. Now the other day it cut from um, it cut up and down. So now it knows where the exclusion zones are and all that sort of stuff. It's just figuring itself out where it is, what it's got to do. It's talking to the RTK and it's going to do little tiny sections just here. Little tiny sections. So it's got to follow the line. And eventually it'll work its way up. So let me just pause that for now. Um, it's got, that's what it's going to do. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to set that to pause, okay? And then I'm going to set that to end, confirm, and then recharge. Hit that, okay. And send it to home over, over far right hand side. Hit the, re, hit, hit the recharge button. And Luba now should go all the way back. Because you may want to cut your lawn today. You may just cut it with, with, with another mower. So now it's all mapped out and set. Luba will now come all the way up on its own. It'll follow any route, no matter where it is in the garden, it'll follow any route. Okay, and then Luba will now come all the way up into its um, into its station. It's going to follow this little line up, which is the line that you that, that you that you drew on your map. How cool is that? Little tiny Luba is following its way home. Now it's got rain sensors on mine and all that sort of good stuff as well because it's got this Luba 5000. It's got crash barriers on here as well, all that sort of stuff. So you can see how tight it's gone to that, to that hot tub. Now if it, if it hits anything, it will just stop and go around it. Now I did move my docking station just a little bit yesterday, so it'd be interesting to see what happens with this, if it will actually find it. I did move it. Sometimes it'll ask you, have you moved your docking station? Just click yes and then do an automatic pile down and it, will, and it will find it. So now I'm hoping it's going to do a, make it a bit easier. We see a big hole in the hedge there. That's where the dog goes through. But um, 
that's where it was trying to get through there to get the docking station. So I have to move the docking station slightly. I'm hoping it'll come out a little bit this time before it actually um, decides, to, decides to dock. Now that mat's going to be put just a bit further out because you see how it scuffs that mat up? That mat's going to be pegged down yet because it is trying to get in. Yeah, that mat's got to be moved and pegged down. It's just trying to find it. Just give it. Just, just let it do its own thing. Don't 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 be impatient with it. It's just got to find its own way. And that mat probably just isn't helping matters. So if I pick Luber up, it stop. It won't like it. Yeah. So no, I've been picked up here. What's going on? Where are we hooked up, Luby? Now when you pick it up, Luber will lock off. It won't like it. So now you might have to just have to reset Luber itself. That's what the phone says. So I interrupted it. So I'm gonna push the, on the Luber, because I picked it up, I'm gonna push the home start button. And then Luber will now, because it just got hooked on that mat. I didn't, I didn't tip, the, uh, tip that mat down, did I? So now Luber will now start to find its way back to its uh, station. So that mat needs to be pegged down. It's just where it scuffs it up a little bit. And back up, Luber goes. Okay, cool. So now let's just say that you, um, let's come out of it, let's come out of the app altogether. Okay, let me shut the app down. Right, there's my beautiful wife. So let's just say you wanna go and cut your grass now, okay? Now you can do it from your office, okay? It can be done. It takes a while to set, the, set up the, uh, the connection, but I think that will improve as time goes on. So what you wanna do now, let's just say you wanna, you wanna, you wanna um, go mowing, you can now hit the Motion app, enter the map, it'll wait for your Bluetooth to connect and what have you, and your positioning, your POS at the top, 24 satellites to 16, that's lovely. So now you've got Mo or Edit, and you can see on the, on the map here, you've got my exclusion zone set up. I'm gonna go and mow. I'm gonna drop the height of cut down to 30 mil, hit the start button, and Luba will go off first. Now it's not cutting yet. It'll drop the deck down to where it wants to be. Now the deck's kicked in, and now off it goes. So you can see on the map that Luba's gonna be doing a little tiny bit just here, first off and then it'll be walking off around the garden to go and cut. So there it goes, there goes my little Luba. Off it goes, and it take, it's gonna say it's gonna take around about 86 minutes to cut it, and you can pause it at any time, any time at all. So off goes the Luba, and done. Now if you have a problem where sometimes Luba might hit a twig or something like that, something happened, Luba will just stop. Okay, and, you, and you'll get an alert up the top left hand corner, it's got the, got the, the, the bell notification, and it'll tell you all the stuff here, what's wrong with it. So go and inspect your Luba, make sure it's all clean underneath and what have you, hit the, hit the stop button first. And then um, you hit the home button or the continue button and it'll carry on. So, you know, it's, it's, it is a robot, you've got to tell it what to do. But uh, as you can see, it's going to cut away now. Cut the lawn. Now mine did actually cut yesterday, uh, but it's grown it's something wicked at the moment. Um, but it's done a quite a good job, as you can see, and uh, off it goes. So. It's a bit like a baby, this thing, a puppy. They are, they are time wasters. They do waste your time because you, you just end up watching it and you might as well just mow it yourself, right? But uh, I, I do watch it. But you see Luba's now starting to come back. It's going back down at the bottom corner again and doing a little tiny section here. It just follows the lines. That's all it does. Follows the lines. And easy. So hopefully this video has helped you. If it has helped, you know, and given you a, a bit more of a better understanding on how to set up your exclusion zones and all that sort of stuff, then don't forget, hit the off subscribe button and whack the old bell. Set notifications to all, that way you'll be told next time I upload another video. And don't forget to subscribe, do all that sort of nice stuff, and leave a comment down below of how you think the video is, and if there's anything you want to see me do with my Luba, then uh, let me know. I'll be doing videos coming soon on how to change the blades on it and what have you, all that sort of stuff, so those videos will be coming soon. So keep an eye out on it, and uh, hopefully um, these videos will, uh, will help you out, and uh, if, they, if they have, yeah, then give us a thumbs up. Well done, guys and girls, thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll catch you all on the next one.